Hey Business Warriors, welcome to the show. Now we have two things that were said today by two different government officials with regard to second stimulus checks. And before you ask, no, they didn't just talk about a second stimulus package and we're kind of hoping that there'll be a second stimulus check in it. No, they actually used the words stimulus checks. And what they said was very promising, although there is one thing that may be bad news for some, uh, and we'll mention that at the end of the video. So first we have White House Chief of Staff Mark Meadows. And CBS reporter Paula Reed asked this question this morning in a press conference with Meadows and other reporters. It sounds like Americans should likely expect another stimulus check. I, I think the president's been very clear that he's supportive of another stimulus uh, check. And yet at the same time, we want to make sure that we're addressing things uh, in, a, in a real systemic way. So you can see he's quite clear about supporting actual stimulus checks, not just some other kind of stimulus package, and also that Trump is supportive of the idea of a second stimulus check. Then he goes on to say that payroll tax cuts and liability protections are two other crucial things which will be in the next stimulus bill, which will be announced in either the second or third week of July. And then we have Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell, who also answered a stimulus check question today when he was touring a hospital in his home state of Kentucky. Uh, Senator, do you anticipate the next uh, rescue package having any individual funding going to people like the previous $1,200 and to families? Will there be something like that? Could well. Uh, I think the people who've been hit the hardest are people who make about $40,000 a year or less Many of them worse in the hospitality industry. The hospitality industry, as you all of you know, just got rim racked. Uh, hotels, um, restaurants, and uh, so that could well be a part of it. So you'll notice that he does say that direct payments or stimulus checks uh, could very well be part of it, but he then goes on to mention that those hit hardest financially have been those Americans earning under $40,000 a year, which could imply that this will be a more targeted stimulus check aimed at those earning under that threshold. Now it would probably taper off above that threshold so it wouldn't be like you earn $41,000 you know, a year and you get nothing. Uh, it would probably be like the last set of checks would be. So for example, perhaps um, the amount would decrease maybe by $100 for every $1,000 over $40,000 a year you earn. Could be something like that. So if it is that number, 40,000, this would signal a lowering of the threshold um, for you know those that get kicked out of the stimulus check program. Um, so previously it was 75,000 for single filers, uh, 150,000 for married filing jointly, and this would obviously be 40,000 for single filers, and then I'm guessing double that 80,000 if you're married filing jointly, and then tapering off um, above that. So we'll have to wait and see about this, but we probably won't have to wait for too long because McConnell also said um, that the new bill would be announced in either the second or third week of July. So they seem to be in consensus um, about that. McConnell also said it would be written by him um, as a starting point that they could then go on and negotiate with. Uh, he said, you know, it's going to have to be bipartisan, but he also said that he doesn't think they're going to be able to pass it unanimously like they did um, with the previous, you know, CARES Act. Uh, there's going to be objections by certain senators and uh, House representatives, etc. And yes, McConnell did also say that liability protections for businesses would be essential. All right, guys, what do you think about all this? Do you think it's fair to only give a second stimulus check to those earning under $40,000 a year? I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. If you want two free stocks from Webull just for setting up and funding your account, uh, link for that is below. It's one of the best stock trading and investing apps out there. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching, guys. Please subscribe if you're new, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.